fam. Thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So I was listening to Pastor Torre Roberts, and he was talking about the five things to consider before you say that this person is your soul mate. Now, this absolutely is a Christian point of view. So if you're not a believer, then you can still listen to it and get some information out of it. However, some of the points are specifically geared toward Christians, okay, and believers. So without further ado, we're going to start right after this. All right, thank you so much for coming on back. So I will try to find that video again so I can link it down in the description box below. I don't know if I will be able to find it, but I'm going to try, okay, because I am going to shorten these really quick and his that sermon that I listened to was over an hour but and you know maybe you want to hear everything he had to say he definitely had some great points in there but I'm going to wrap up the five rather quickly so we're definitely not going to be here for an hour today okay so anywho the very first one that he mentioned is that you must have chemistry with the person that you are considering to be your soulmate that is absolutely true you have to have chemistry with the person. Um, you don't want to just get with somebody just because, right? And you have to uh, uh, understand that you can have chemistry with a lot of people. So this is just the very first thing, but it's not the end all be all, okay? This is just the first thing that you must consider when you're trying to say that this is your soulmate. You have to have chemistry with them. The second thing that he pointed out was that it has to be a connection with them. But again, this is not the end of it because you can have a connection with a lot of people. You can have chemistry with a lot of people. And um, he, he basically mentioned how you could be at the water cooler, right? And Or walking toward the water cooler. It's the guy coming and the girl coming. They're coming together, right? And they get into the water cooler and oops, she dropped her pen. And now she's bending down to pick up her pen and he's trying to help her. They heads bump and then they're locking eyes. And that is some connection. But that still don't mean that that person is your soulmate, right? Because that ain't nothing. I was just... You know, that happened right there. Y'all moved on with life. Maybe y'all never spoke again. Or maybe you guys are seeing each other all the time and you're feeling like you're connected. You can tell that there's some chemistry there, right? And there's that connection. But, you know, you went outside and another young lady dropped some papers down. And when you helped her pick them up, you came up and you locked eyes with her. And so you felt some connection with her too. So don't be fooled that just because you have chemistry and now connection that this is your soulmate. Also, that goes along with the connection is that you must have a draw or something that is pulling you to them. That is going to keep you coming back for more. That is going to deepen and understand that you have a deeper connection with this person. The third way to know that this person is your soulmate is you have to have wholeness already before you are inviting another party into your life. This wholeness actually qualifies the connection that you have with the person because now you're feeling like you are connecting with the person's spirit. So you have chemistry, you have connection, and now we're going a little bit deeper because you yourself have to be whole and that wholeness is drawing you to the other person's spirit. It's deepening that connection. Or as Pastor Torre says, he said that this is the qualification for that connection that you feel toward that person. The fourth way to see and understand if this person is your soulmate is you have to have a divine confirmation. And um, I was listening to them speak and basically his wife was speaking at this point and she was saying how um, she was divorced before him and uh, she was working with her children's father and they were basically having a rough time trying to co-parent together and um, she was thinking to herself that she won't be able to have like those ice cream moments meaning that you know her and the ex-husband being together with with the um with the children and them going out as a family and doing the whole ice cream thing she said literally in that moment that she was thinking that her now husband which was Tore at the time was just a guy right um <laughs> but him and his son he well I'm sorry 
he texted a picture of him and his son to her and they were eating ice cream. And so they felt like that they felt like that was a divine confirmation that you know what? Their souls are tied at least a little bit. Um, uh, maybe not a hundred percent tied right now, but there was definitely the connection, the chemistry, and the wholeness, and their spirits were being drawn to each other. And, and she felt like that this was one of the divine connections for them. And even for myself, I will say that um, I say my prayer, right? When I was meeting a guy, I would say a prayer, and my prayer would be like, God, if he is not for me, you remove him from my life, and also let me see that he is not for me, so I can get him on out the way as well. And I have to say that every, yeah, every one of them that I, every prayer that I prayed like that, the guy was gone, except my now husband. And there was definitely many times that I felt like it was confirmed that he was supposed to be here, um, as, as me, my husband, my soulmate. And uh, I'm sure that there will be many more times to come as well, okay? <laughs> but there has to be that, again, this is number four, that divine confirmation that this is your soulmate. And it's not you trying to create this connection, trying to make it and build it into something when it is not supposed to be. The fifth and final reason to understand that the person is your soulmate or not is to have a sense of purpose, a sense of purpose in life, right? And then because he basically what he said is that if you're not working on your purpose, right, before you get into a relationship and then we get into your relationship and then all, all of a sudden now you're starting to work on your purpose, the, the person, your soulmate, didn't realize that you had a purpose to start working on and now they have to figure out if they want to be a part of that purpose when if you understand who you are that wholeness and start working on your purpose beforehand then by the time you get into that relationship with your soulmate then they can already understand the dynamics and what they're actually getting themselves into and he was basically saying that some people feel tricked after you start your purpose you know, once they got into the relationship with you. So he was saying, you know, this is not the end all. He's not telling people to go and get divorced because they didn't know, you know, their purpose beforehand. Ideally, it is better for you to know your purpose and have your sense of purpose. You're working on your purpose. You're standing in your purpose before you meet the person so they can see, so they can truly see what they get themselves into and whether they want to be a part of your life or not. All right. So. Definitely, I will try to link the, I will try to find that video, as I mentioned before, and put it down in the description box below so you can watch it if you're interested. I thought that it was very um, open. I actually agree with all of these. I will say that he threw me off with a sense of purpose, but thinking about it more and more, it does make sense. But, you know, um, I'm just giving you what he said. I actually do feel that it's right. I, the, the sense of purpose thing is actually growing more and more. The more that I speak about it, the more I talk about it out loud. But but by and large, most of us don't know what our sense of purpose is before we get into the relationships. Is it right? Is it wrong? You know, you can interpret it the way that you want to. I just wanted to come here and share the five ways or five tips that you can understand that the person is your soulmate because it connected and resonated with me. And so I wanted to share it with you guys. And so, yes, definitely let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this information. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let's have that dialogue. This is not a monologue. This is absolutely dialogue. You know that I love to hear what you have to say. So let's go ahead and get that typing going. Typing going. Okay, I'm being silly. Uh, <laughs> if this is your very first time, definitely go ahead and think about subscribing because here I love me, me, me. I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we together as a family can decrease that divorce rate by simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I will see you again in a future video. Deuces.